Hello Slim Brother, my name is Joseph and welcome to week number two of the course. Um, now this week I've not lost any weight to gain, um, but my highlight this week has again been the Fit for Life Forever course that I've been doing. Um, this week we're talking about emotional eating and it was really, really great because Sue gave us a test um, and we did a little um, emotional eating test to find out whether we're eating because of stress or we're actually eating because of comfort. Um, and it was really, really great to, and it was based on scientifically the foods that you actually go for um, and the sort of emotions that make you eat. Um, and I came as a, um emotional um, comfort eater, which I kind of knew anyway. Um, and I think looking back through the problems with my daughter um, and a little bit of loneliness as well is kind of, one of my main reasons for eating. Um, so that was really interesting to actually identify that. Um, the bigger thing within my class this week, we've been talking about stresses, um, and then within Fit for Life Forever, we're talking about prayers, and you know, what is it? What is it, that key that's making you do that? Um, I know I've just said about my daughter and the feelings of loneliness and stuff, but I don't actually think. I don't know, there's just not one thing or one experience that I've gone through that I can literally pray about or try and unforgive. So I think one of my main prayers has actually got to be, what is it? You know, what is making me um, emotionally use food? Because I've told people before, I've been shopping and when I don't buy a treat, I just think, you know, what is there to look forward to? Not in a... Um, really awful way, not as awful as that makes sound, but as in that food really is a great comfort to me in a really unhealthy way. Um, so again, that's something I need to work on and, and try and unpack that through prayer and through God as well. So I'm again, these next three or four weeks in particular are going to be really great with Sue on dealing with those facts. Um, but my highlights this week, been eating all the happy hens meat, which has been great. This morning I had a four egg omelette with mushrooms and two beef burgers for breakfast. Um, so that was really, really great. And I still feel really full now. Um, and it's almost two o'clock, so that's a great thing. Um, moving on, on to challenges this week. Um, I started making a food diary, uh, <laughs> but abandoned it halfway through. Um, Anita, the Alpha course on the Sunday evening, has said, oh, well, I hope Slim Brother's going to be telling us his food diary then. Um, and I will tell you bits of my food diary. Um, on Sunday evening, they did have ho homemade pizza at Alf Alpha in Burton. It was amazing. A couple of people didn't show up for Burton. They were ill. Um, so I had second helpings of that, and it was just amazing. Um, it did have cheese on it, so it did have protein, so that's my uh, get-out clause. And afterwards, we had home my trifle as well, which was great. Um, later on through this week, I've been doing a lot of metabolic typing, but I have had chips this week one night as one of my treats. Um, and then there's been some custard creams in the house as well. So um, overall, when I look back, I am still choosing the right choices, but probably this week I've still only been 60% good. And 40% not so good. Um, but again, unpacking the emotions behind that is going to be the real key to my long-term weight loss. Um, but I'm positive that we are going to see some movement on the scales this time next week. Um, and my goal for next week is to lose four pounds. Goodbye, Slim Brother.